and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a combo deck here on Meme Tier Monday that we are calling Gem Drinker. So what the point of this deck is, is to be able to um, make a deck that's going to be able to kill the opponent with Horns of the Dragon. Horns of the Dragon is a 4 mana, 4-6 four, with double attack. That's it, but double attack, you know, very good keyword. So what we're going to do here is we're, we need to buff it up, right? 4 power, not enough. So we're going to use Shards of the Mountain that's going to fill our hand with gems. Where, you know, if we make, you know, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you know, however many gems... Each one heal an ally, grant it plus one plus zero. That costs a lot of mana though, if we want to just play like a whole bunch of gems, especially after spending four mana on a Shards of the Mountain. So that's where we got our Cloud Drinker to come into play, because then the Cloud Drinker is going to have the burst and the focus spells cost one less. So that means every single one of these gems will now cost zero mana instead of one mana. So we'll just be able to like throw all those gems on the horns of the dragon. Now, it still has to actually strike our opponent, right? Like, it's easy to block, even though it has the double attack. And so we're going to be using the card Ghost, give an ally elusive this round, to be able to give it elusive after we give it all the gems. Again, this would be zero mana because it's, um, you know, with the Cloud Drinker in play. Um, and so that's our combo. So we're going to try to, um, you know, give this, you know, give it elusive and double attack and get it to like 10 power and just do 20 to the opponent just like that. We also have a Syncopation here. Where syncopation can be like if we, you know, attack with it, they block, you know, we attack with something else, they don't block, boom, swap the, swap the two allies and have it deal nexus damage. That could be pretty fun. All right, so as far as like what else are we doing besides that, we're going to be kind of making a Monastery of Hirana deck besides that, where we're creating these sanctuaries in hand. And so we're going to have the Sanctuary Droplet combo where we can like draw an additional card every single round with Sanctuary plus Droplets. That will help us get us towards our combo. Plus, since we're playing Cloud Drinker, making the focus spells cost one less, these sanctuaries will cost zero mana instead of one mana. So we'll make those cost uh, one less, and so we'll be able to have zero mana sanctuaries each round. Sorry. Having zero mana sanctuary makes it just like a little easier to like, you know, recall things and replay them. Whether it's you know the dancing droplet or the or if we're doing it with shadow assassin or the fangs, you know anything like that. So that should be pretty interesting. So we just have that. We have some interaction, and that's going to be the deck. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We're going to play gem drinker. That's what we're calling it. Going to go play our five games in normal. Okay, we got Jarvan Shen for our first one. Jarvan Shen um, does a good job controlling the board and killing stuff and everything. So this is probably going to be a difficult matchup. I'm going to keep the Homecoming. Maybe I get rid of this for now. I want to find Dancing Droplet. <clears throat> but they, they play expensive units. Um, so Homecoming is good against expensive units. Now they also have Deny, though. You know, Deny can stop a homecoming, but... Alright, good start. We swim within the flows of magic. I'll take the trade. All right, my throw. From the river folk. If they would have played like a barrier there that would have saved their um, river shaper, then you know, I would have used their retreat return. I think I'm going to simply get monastery going. I don't really need the sanctuaries though, I suppose. Maybe we'll just play the shadow assassin. Hmm. 
I just do this? I guess this isn't going to work as well. Um, yes, an attack with a recall on the stack, is, if it's like a fast speed recall, yeah, that would, that would account as an attack. Okay, I'll see if we could bait out a... <clears throat> um, like a fight spell there, and then cast the homecoming after the fight spell. I'm just playing Cloud Drinker this round, right? Or I guess maybe it's the Fangs. Who does not know the name Laurent? know what a serpent's doing to help me out. I was hoping to find Equinox, of course. I want to Equinox the Screeching Dragon. That's what I wanted to do. I could pick the fangs back up. It's not an easy deck to play. I don't. This is not an easy matchup to play either. I don't. Should have just passed the round. It must be done. That obviously is not good. Yeah, I mean that's that's not good. Shen just needs one more to level up. Oh, whoa, 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 what is that? Oh, I'm sorry. That's kind of a little bit behind my camera right there. I definitely thought I was playing the Homecoming. I guess I was playing that. <laughs> I definitely thought I was playing Homecoming. Well, I guess that's a thing.
silent as death. Okay. Well, this game is over. Probably. I can't. I can't really imagine it's not. I don't know exactly how this is going to work where we win this game, but they have to have like no, no sharp sight, even, why don't I even just play that card? I guess because it's basically free. Okay, that kind of gives me hope. That's a lot of mana on, on something that doesn't do anything. That gives me hope. Do we got this? Do we got this? Bunch of elusive attackers. Horns of the dragon. Horns of the dragon. We still have deny backup for a single combat. Look at that. Cloud drinker. That makes more sense to homecoming than deny. Whoa, we did it! Cloud Drinker Horns of the Dragon combo! Wow, I didn't think we were winning that like ever until that very last turn, and especially when they spent the nine mana on that unit that didn't matter. Um, wow. Syncopation, clutch. We did the thing in game one. Wow. Wow. Ooh, Tom Kench, Ash. Okay, so we have a couple mountain goats, a shards of the mountain, and a shadow assassin. So they're gonna be frostbiting. Let's mulligan the shards. Yeah, I think the nine drop was was my opponent's downfall. I agree. I think that's where they uh, messed up spending all the mana on that thing. No, no. Oh. I'm so jealous. I love playing Starlet Seer Elixir of Iron. I'm so jealous of my opponent right now. Starlet Seer is so cool. It's definitely one of my favorite cards. 
Punk's just living the dream also. I'm so jealous. They're just living the dream. Fly away while you can. Blessed by snow and stars. Okay, retreat your turn. Yes, Cloud Drinker has to be in play to be able to work. But as long as it's in play, it it, it works. Um. Okay. I will play my part. I just need the cloud drinker. Each one of these acquire taste buffs twice. Man, Starless here is awesome. So I'm doing this to reset my Shadow Assassin. Get my shadow assassin back. Between Hush and Frostbite, they have a lot of ways to stop my horns of the dragon. Oh, right, they don't play Hush. Right, right, right. So just Frostbite. Sorry. So with all the Frostbite, they can slow that down. Right. I have Hush. I'm used to Tom Kench decks playing Hush. So I can hush my own horns to get rid of the frostbite, but that also gets rid of the double attack. But it does turn into a 4 6. Which I don't really know what else my hush is going to do. Might as well force them to play some more spells. Oh, 
That leaves them the perfect two mana for this acquired taste. Fortunately, I don't get to do anything. I have to use like a spell every single round to deal with this acquired taste, but you know, like that's a free card for them. You know, like they're getting that as a free card each round. Man, Starless here is that's something else. I'm just jealous. <laughs> My opponents really live the dream. Like this is exactly what you could possibly ever want. Like. Turn two Starlet Seer that draws a plus one plus one Starlet Seer, and then Tom Kench with with these acquired tastes each round. I'm just jealous over here. So I don't have any way to remove Tom Kench. Yeah. There's not any like any way that this works out well for us. But them having getting the acquired taste for free every single round plus like their draw steps. That's that's just more that I can handle. It's, it'll take a little bit for them to kill us, but that's there's no outcome that involves us winning that game. So we'll move on. They had us in the the full lockdown. Let's see, so Fiora. We can keep all this. Homecoming could be good here. Especially if they buff up a Fiora to reset it. Always two steps ahead. Yeah, because they use these standalones and everything. Question is, do I just? Yeah, I'm just gonna homecoming. So they can't single combat right now, and so that's important. Not allowing them to do that. They could have attacked for three, but I guess they don't care about that three damage. Drawing like cheap units right now is the worst thing that can can be drawn. <clears throat> Strike 
without worry. Unfortunately, blue sentinels are just the worst thing I can be drawing. So they used two cards to get that one kill. Relentless Pursuit and um, Elixir of Iron. So I could play Dancing Droplet, because Dancing Droplet's good with Homecoming, but if I play Dancing Droplet, then they get the free challenge on the Droplet. Oh, I guess I could have gone Droplet plus Gem. I've got your back. Yeah, I guess I could have done Droplet plus Gem. Hmm. Well, now... I think I'm kind of set into just playing this Homecoming. A single combat. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Too many cards in hand. I have to play one of these things. Um. So if yours reset back to four. Play the blue sentinel. Attack! I'll stop you. It's not like my cloud trigger doesn't like even do anything. Your move. I'm happy with that. All right, so they're down to three, six, nine. I do have nine cards in hand. 
I don't want to have nine cards in hand because Sanctuary. Okay, so the, the open attack with these things is kind of telling me... I think that could be telling me judgment. Maybe? But they... You know, like, they gave priority back to me with, like, that Fiora dying, so... I'm kind of gonna let that Fiora die. <laughs> I think we're gonna let that thing die. Always two steps ahead. I play this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, we're good. Yeah, fill my hand with gems. I don't have enough room. The dragon speaks for a whole bunch of gems. Strike without worry. So it's only the first kill, because this is a new Fiora, and they only got two cards left. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good about both of those things. I do want to empty cards from my hand for the Shards of the Mountain. Ooh, Hush is always good. All right, we're going to ghost some Horns of the Dragons. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking, Judgment, right? Like, that's what it kind of feels like, that they had Judgment. So they're going to have to ha have Sharp Sight plus Judgment plus something else that buffs Fiora, and then I hush Fiora, and then they still lose. Okay, or they just flash freeze both these. I guess that, that is an option also. They didn't block though, so... The old hush kill. Alright, GG's. Gem Drinker, we've gotten two lethal hits with Horns of the Dragon. I don't know if I've killed two people with Horns of the Dragon ever before in my life. I mean, we've done it twice now <laughs> in these games. Alright, Twisted Gangplank with Targon. This is going to be a slower deck. That's good for us. GG's. Let's keep the goat. Send the others back, see what else we got. I kind of want to hold on to Droplet. Well, let's see. Bilgewater, Targon. Yeah, we'll play it. Worried about Twisted Fate Red Card killing all my stuff. So I'm probably not going to play the Shadow Assassin also. Sparklefly. Shards of the Mountain. Sparkle fly annoying. I'm going to kill Sparkle fly. Hmm. 
around her. Eyes open. All right, had to get that out of their hand first. Right when I drew the protection. With the retreat. Okay. We are setting up a combo. I kind of wish I would have had this blue sentinel be dead. Um... I could retreat return, but eh. Hmm. I guess I should have retreat return to protect against black market merchant. But I'm gonna protect our combo. I don't know what they're using with Targon, but better not be Hush. I guess I don't have the Ghost anymore to give the Horns of the Dragon elusive. Wow, that's a good card. Yeah, Monster Harpoon, Kill Cloud Drinker, that's true. Trying to turn on Plunder. I don't want to let him. At least not that easily. Okay, good. A card that can help stop their Twisted Fate from leveling up. That would cost four mana. So I have four other mana. Syncopation. They thought we wouldn't fight back. Is that six? Have them just eat, waste their mana. Your king has that 
card's a problem. Monastery is just the safest thing to bounce to get rid of this. I mean, I don't have any lethal attempt. What do, what kind of lethal attempt do you want me to do? I, I They just block the horns of the dragon. I guess I have the syncopation. I guess syncopation's a card. Now they can hold that up. Like yeah, it wasn't lethal though. I didn't. I don't. Did I have the mana? This could have the mana. But anyway, I'm I'm scared of the card Hush, right? Like if they're playing Gangplank Twisted Fate, like you you'd have to think that they're playing Hush. So that that's a card I'm scared of. If I'm talking about cards, I'm scared of. That one is at the top of the list. Soak it in. Hmm. Question is how we're gonna bait out Hush and I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. Alright, well, let's try. They stole my homecoming? The black market merchant? Wow, that's so rude. I wish we had more syncopations. I wish we had more, because like just use you know using the one right now is not lethal if I use it. I'm just gonna run out of cards, honestly. Like I think that's just like the I'm trying to think of like how this game ends, and I kinda feel like just this game just ends with me running out of cards. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to get through with, Who says I don't share? with Twisted Fate level up. Master. Red cards and blue cards and all that kind of stuff. The don't think there's really other 
Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see how this ends any other way than me milling out. do anything. Spell Shield just goes away immediately from the Twisted Fates. Spell Shield isn't valuable. Um, the plus zero plus two could be a little valuable, I suppose. Alright, GG's Twisted Fate. Good card. That's the thing about our deck, right? Like, we're just trying to do our thing. I can't stop champions, right? Like, a, a champion like Twisted Fate. Like, I don't have any removal besides the Homecoming. A champion like Twisted Fate that, um, you know, just stays out in play and just accrues a ton of value every single round. We're not stopping that, right? We're a meme tier deck for a reason. I'm not stopping something like that. So, that's just the same kind of thing. Both of our losses, one to Tom Kench. One to Twisted Fate. They're both champions that just stay in play and um, accrue a ton of value every single round. And you just, you know, like, I, I can't, uh, can't stop that. Hey, Patek. Just flow stuff. Nice to have you back. Yeah, definitely having a good time, and um, this is going to be a huge time for Legends of Runeterra. We're going to have a very big patch update tomorrow, changing a lot of cards and everything. That's going to be pretty exciting to see what's going to happen. So that's tomorrow, and then um, also we're going to have the, um, and so that's going to be implemented on. Uh, so that's going to be announced tomorrow. Be implemented. On Wednesday, and also on Wednesday, we're gonna get, we're gonna be getting a brand new expansion. So putting those together, it's gonna be super exciting to see what's gonna happen. So there is no just other outcome for the Mountain Goat than just trading with the three one. Might as well just have that happen. I don't have any other, you know, like we're not killing that three one any other way. The mushroom. Have three. The dark beckons. Safety disengaged. Fire kill nothing moves. No, I haven't really thought too much of what I'm running for Thresh Day. Kind of. I, I got two. Like, Thresh Nasus, of course, is like the obvious one. You know, like, obviously, you know, that's. We're. Wanting to showcase a champion with competitive decks, like the Thresh Nasus, that's the obvious one. Besides that, a lot of people really want to see Thresh Aurelian Soul, so I'm planning on doing Thresh Aurelian Soul. But those are the two that I had planned. The Order rewards its faithful. I'm not too big of a fan of Karma Thresh. I don't think it's very competitive. And I don't know if I've ever played... I really don't know. I really don't know if I've ever played... Um, uh, Thresh Nasus before. I kind of don't think I have. Nope, stop. Yeah, Renekton's a good champion. 
and I think could get helped out depending on what happens with the patch. Yeah, I have played a lot of Thresh Lux in the past. And Thresh Swain, that's, that's an option. A lot of things to do with, with Thresh. It's a very good champion. It fits in any defensive mid-range or control deck. It's a very good champion. Again, it's just another unit that just sits in play and it's accruing a ton of value for them, this Ballistic Bond. Same with Puffcat Peddler. Found our weakness. Our weakness is just control decks that just have units in play that get a ton of value over time. That is our weakness. And that could be all three of our losses. I don't have a very good plan. Just trying to figure out how I'm going to win this. And I don't really like any option. There's not a good one. It's not a good option. So th things I've been considering, I've been considering like how I could hush the Cloud Drinker, what I want to do with the Homecoming and the Sejuani. Um, nothing really works, to be honest. Just no... We don't have the cards. We don't have the cards right now. Disengage. I've always been a 
Yeah, that's that's basically my only hope, I think, is being able to, like, them not have a Frostbite card, play the horns after drawing the Puff Cap, and try to ghost horns and kill them, and I guess that's really about it. There's just... I think that's it. What I got. Okay, so you know, like we're trying like a, a cool little combo deck. To be honest, getting two wins out of five, I'm pretty happy about that. We got two wins with Horns of the Dragon hitting for lethal twice in five games. I'm honestly pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, we just don't have, I don't have any kind of like removal here. And so the, the decks that were defensive, that just set up a wall of high value units, um, you know, that <laughs> they outgrinded us and, and uh, you know, we weren't able to finish the job, right? Like those, those kind of decks are going to be really good against this kind of uh, combo deck. And that's okay. So we faced three of those, lost all three of those. And then we, uh, you know, faced two that weren't like that. And we won at both of those. So pretty happy with it and uh yeah we got to do two horns of the dragon kills so there we go that's gonna be it all right so those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and as always feel free to leave those comments and uh let me know what you think of this crazy combo deck hopefully y'all enjoyed it but that's gonna be it here for gem drinker so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video